Author and columnist Mark Stein was also watching last night and joins us. So, Mark, you got to say of the Hollywood people, I mean, they do care deeply. Wouldn't you say much more deeply than, than a person like you cares? Yeah, they they do. They care. And that was the message. They cared at length. <laughs> uh, that that guy you had on now uh, saying that movies give a voice to the voiceless. I have to laugh. They did that all night long. They say movies give a voice to the voiceless shortly before they cut off the microphone of the best sound editing guy uh, because his co-winner has gone long on her speech. So it was uh, literally <laughs> hypocritical as we watch. You know, Lisa said she just wanted to have fun. You, you mentioned a few, a few decades ago the Oscar shows uh, were a big deal and they were conventional uh, shows of that type. They've gotten rid of everything. They've gotten rid of the song and dance. They've gotten rid of the jokes. They've gotten rid of the host. They got rid of the gowns. The gowns were frumpy last night except for Billy Porter in that, uh, what did he call it, a, a, uh, a tuxedo dress. That was the only time I felt the rustle of taffeta. So he was the only one I would have asked to dance with at the post-Oscar ball. Uh, they got rid of the thank yous to Harvey Weinstein, which uh, constituted 40% of the Oscar time of the last 20 years. Uh, and all that left was this pious, earnest virtue signaling um, uh, which I think they, they think because they bottomed out and they got a little bit of an uptick of an audience that in fact they now have a core audience that actually doesn't want fun, uh, to go back to Lisa's word, uh, that is just much more comfortable with the pious, earnest, boring virtue signaling and is, and is happy just to stick with that for its own sake. Because for some reason but I wonder uh, it makes them feel good. Do they, I mean, Hollywood in some ways is over. It's diminishing in its power and its reach. The technology has been surpassed by mm -hmm. others. But I wonder if they're go, kind of just going through the motions. Like, this is what you have to say if you're a director or an actor. You ha have to make these noises. Or do you think they still believe them? Well, I think Spike Lee certainly does. He, he walked out uh, because uh, whatever it's called, Green Room, Green Door, whatever it is, Green Room won the best picture. Uh, I think he does actually mean it. I think most of the other people reading glassy-eyed from the teleprompter, one thing is fascinating to me, the world's greatest actors and actresses, they can play any role on the planet, but they can't read a dull, teleprompted, leaden piece of prose uh, about giving voice to the voiceless and put any life into it. They're just awful prompter readers. You would clean up at the office Oscars for best prompter reader, Tucker, way ahead of Julia Roberts or any of these other stars. They just can't do it. Uh, and so I think they are just going through the motions, and they're doing it because th this is just part of what it means to be an actor. Uh, 20 years ago, uh, you had to give Harvey Weinstein a back rub when he asked you up to his hotel room. Now you just have to genuflect to transgender rights or whatever is this year's fashion. They're just doing what they uh, need to do to keep themselves in work. Did anybody say anything artistic, which is to say unexpected, interesting, against the grain, radical, or was it all just approved thoughts? Uh, no, I, I, it was approved thoughts. And again, to go back to uh, Lisa's word, fun, um, what was interesting to me was that there was no wit or charm or even any sense of joy or pleasure uh, in the event, that was what was uh, that was what was palpable almost. Even when you listen to someone like Spike Lee, you sort of sense the grievance. A guy who's getting a statuette for making a movie, and he somehow feels obliged to talk about America's genocide of its native people, is is sort of oddly trivial. If you seriously believe it's genocide, it's actually trivializing of that. Uh, uh, to connect it to you getting some crummy award uh, for best adapted screenplay. I don't think there's anything serious, serious about this. They've, they've taken out all the joy, all the charm, all the wit, all the fun, and they haven't found anything to put in its place. Wow. I don't even, they, they, they've lost the power even to offend me. <laughs> that's that's Sorry, how that, banal that's, it is. That's a downer, uh, Tucker. I, I uh, should do eight bars of hooray for Hollywood like the old days, but we don't have that anymore. <laughs> Mark Stein, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks.
a 19-inch RCA Victor television. One more day to Labor Day weekend, the traditional occasion for tasty outdoor barbecues.